Yo, what is up YouTube? It's me, Dark, back with another video. And today, I'm playing Doki Doki Liter Literature Club. Oh my god, I'm actually quite scared to play this now because I've heard people are saying that it messed them up after playing this, but, but I'm, I'm still going for it, okay? It, it, it's, if you don't know what this is, it's been out for a bit, but it's basically a, a psychopathic horror game hidden in these cute anime, like, let's just play it, okay? And enter your name. My name is Dark. Go for it. <laughs> hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayuri, my neighbour, and good friend since we were children. You know, it's the kind of friend you, you'd never see yourself making today, but it's just it just kind of works out, because you know, because you, you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but... But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crossway and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Dark. What if people, well if people, well if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't ha you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do- I, I've got to think of every type of voice and not make them sound the same. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Dark, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I was about to say the same thing. I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you want to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in on of in one of many conversations when I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sari likes to worry a, worry worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly con content just getting by on average on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Hey, that sounds like me. Oh my god. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't... Oh wait, that's how I wrong. I was talking about how I was worried... <coughs> I was talking about how I was worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? That's cute. And I know you're, you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat. What's a neat? in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it'll make you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me that you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised that I even let myself relent to her. I see no worry so much about it. Me makes want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Oh, the school day isn't ordinary as ever. And it's over before I knew it. God, I love those days. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Saira wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! <clears throat> Hello! Sayuri? Sayuri must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the class. I thought I'd catch up, I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. 
Honestly, you're even, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you'd come to my club. Sorry? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Meanie. Sarah is the vice president of the literature club. That sounds boring. I, I wouldn't want to go there either. Not that I ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she saw it would be a fun to help start a new club. Since she's f since she's the first one to show interest after after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That's it. My interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Oh wait, I said that was me. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I was bringing a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sarah is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have everything planned out. She's probably so cunning. You're just gonna, I, I heard this as a dark turn. I think she's like, it's gonna like mess me up. I let her long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yeah, let's go. Oh no, we're gonna meet more people. I don't want to meet more people. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sire across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes activities. Sire, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the class. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I swear she's like the shy one. Syra always says nice things about you. Oh wait, I've got to have different voices. Seriously, you're about a boy. Where to kill the atmosphere? Ah, okay, um, I think this is Monica. Everyone loves Monica. Um, what voice? Mmm, got to think of a voice before I do anything. Um, God, I used all the voices I could. Okay, um, Ah, Dark! What a nice surprise! No, that's that's Sire, isn't it? Dark! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! Oh God, she's got green eyes! All words escaped me in this situation. That this club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So, so, sorry. Not so... N Natsuki? Hmm. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nas Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayuri. You can't just ignore when she gets moody, her when she gets moody. Sayuri says that quietly and, and turns back towards the other girl. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. Why they? And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't, don't say that. Like, don't say things like that. Yuri, who apparently comes out more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Sarah and Natsumi. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. Oh wait, no. What was that voice again? That's right. It's great to see- No, I might, I might change their voices around. It's great to see you again, Dark. Monica smiles sweetly. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and aesthetic. Basically, completely out of my league. Ha! Same! So, have her smile at me so Jenna feels a little... Y you know Monica? <clears throat> okay, she's got more of a good voice now. So like she fits the other voice. Come sit down, Dark. We made we made room for you on the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Do I get a choice now? Because I'm totally going with Monica. 
Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little excited. Wait, which one's Yuri? Is this one Yuri? Then how does, how about I make some tea as well? We also have a few desk arranged for the table. As I had to mention, it's been winded. It's been win, wi wi widened, widened, oh, geez, so that there is one space next to Monica or one space next to Sarah. Walk over to the corner of the room where Nat grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feels awkward. I take a sit next. No! Natsuki proudly marches back to the table. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! As he lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Nat Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry, just hurry and take one. Grab one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayuri takes her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers to look at the best angle to take a bite. I can't help but notice her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite it down. The icing sweet of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. This is pretty good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought you technically did, Cyrus said. <laughs> no, wait. Wait, eh? I thought you technically did, Cyrus said. Well, maybe. But not not for you, 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 you dummy. Alright, alright. I gave up on that sort of weird logic and dismissed this conversation. We return to the table and found tea. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down, the t setting down the teapot next to the cupcake. All right, before before we continue, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be a long video, and this first part is probably gonna be like any old normal dating simulator thing, but then it's gonna get like part two, part three, maybe it's gonna get like really weird. You keep the whole tea set in the classroom? No, wait, that's me. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Hehe, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's, that's not... Insulted Yuri looks so much. I mean, like, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm, I'm glad. I gotta, I gotta always start her words. Yuri f faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what makes you consider a literature club? Um, I was ready for this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was particularly dragged here by Sairi. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sairi seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make you feel... Right at home, okay? As president of the Liter Liter Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could possibly be... You could possibly be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh-huh. Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and to prepare for events. I might try to take something I personally enjoy, make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. What's the first Monica's a really great leader! <coughs> Who else is a nod to Cinder, it? I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it in that way. Not many people are in, interested in putting, putting out all the effort to start some something brand new. Especially when it's something that, something that doesn't grab their attention, like literature. 
you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm com I'm confident that we all really grow this <coughs> sorry. I'm confident that we all really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? We'll, we'll we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Makes sense. So, though I still don't really know if I can keep up with the level of enthusiasm about something like literature. So, Dark, what kind of thing do you like to read? God damn! Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I love manga. Manga. I mind quietly to myself, half joking. Suddenly perks up. It looks like she was about to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let, let's see. Who traces the room of her teacup with her finger? My favourite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and cra- Oh wait, I'm Yuri. The, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light, light up that she finds her con, com, comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how writer can, can so deliberately take advantage of, of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off the loop. Anyway, I can read a lot of horror lately. No, no, see ya. Uh, ah, I read a horror book once. I didn't. I desperately grasp something I can relate to in a minimal level. <laughs> At this rate, Yuri might as well have a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. Man, I'm getting scared now. I guess you could say that. I, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or take me to another world, then <laughs> I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, well, it's just... And that's as I dart over to me for a split second. N never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Na Natsuki? Come on, Natsuki, just, just get lost. No, get lost, Natsuki. Wh what? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last without meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called... D don't, don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Eee! Your cupcakes, your poems! Everything you tell is just cute as you are. Cyrus slides up behind her and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not! I'm not! Get out! Nancy, you write your own poems? Uh, well, well, I guess sometimes. W why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No! Nancy averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah. Uh, ah. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Nancy feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The, the, the truest form of writing is writing right to your oneself. You must be willing to open up to readers exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have the writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsu feel comfortable enough to share hers. <coughs> I guess the same for you, Yuri. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? 
And that's when you're Luke, who's the name Monica. Let's all go home and write a, write a poem of our own. This is a club and we are not doing anything, we're just talking for the last... Uh, I thought like we would be like doing stuff. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, um... <clears throat> yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all to get band a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Derek? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? What, what is it? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've bluntly come forth with what's on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Sorry may, may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. I still have other things to look at. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh no! All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. No, don't look at me like that! But... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I saw... Hmm! Darn! You all... <laughs> These girls sound like... I know! No, Dark, I swear. Don't. I'm, I'm talking to myself. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. I think. I think. Um, the decision is pretty easy. I mean, if this was one of those games where I could make the decision, I'd easily. I'd join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lit up. I'm so happy! <coughs> Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! You, re you really did scare me at that moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. And thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Ever remember tonight's assignment? Was that all? To the to the write a poem to bring to her next meeting, and we'll all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Dark, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> he he he! Yeah, I really impressed this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel anxiety well enough inside. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsu clean up their food. Hey Dark, <clears throat> since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, sorry, I never walk, never walk home together anymore because she's always staying after school club. Sure, might as well. Yay! Okay, 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 you know what? How long? Okay, one second. How, how long have I been recording for? 23 minutes. I think this is a great place to save the game. Yep. So it's a great place to end the first part, me joining this. 23 minutes. God, long videos. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this first part of Doki Doku Literature, Literature, Literature Club. Are you sure you want to return to the main menu? This will lose any unsafe progress. I have, uns I have saved it, right? Let's just, let's just check, just in case. Oh, good, good, good. Alright, so thank you all for watching. First part of Doki Doku Literature Club. Um, yeah, I'll be back. I'll be doing more parts of this, and when we get into the horror, this will get interesting. I mean, I don't see how this cute little story can turn into a psychopathic horror, but we'll see. And yeah, with that said, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, join Discord, links in the description, and I'll see you all in the next one. Wah.